this is a mic test i know i'm excited to do youtube again are you excited i know i am stick around it's going to be massive hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video daniel here and welcome back to another video i know it's been a while since i've been away but it was needed it was for a very good reason i've been away on vacation back in nigeria trying to reconnect again get my much needed reset and trying to rest up a little bit and come back rejuvenated so in this video i'm going to be talking about something i've been doing for about a month now just over a month and that is the car rental business using Turo and if you're wondering what Turo is Turo is Airbnb but just for cars so if you've ever rented a car in the past you know you have to go out to uh, one of those companies Hertz Enterprise and you know this huge car rentals you must have uh, heard about and that is exactly what Turo is but using technology to bring car renting service to just about everybody out there so this is something that I've started over the last one month and uh, it's been going great and how did I get started with this you know I've always talked about online businesses on this channel but deep down I'm someone who always wants to you know get in the trenches and use my hands as much as I can and looking at the idea of Turo just sounds very appealing and I just thought you know what since I work from home most of the time these days and my car is just sitting in the driveway just collecting dust I thought why not put my car on Turo and just see how much money I can make or how I can put my car to good use instead of coming out of pocket every month for the car note and that's exactly what I did so after watching a bunch of videos on YouTube you know following influencers who talk about Turo uh, one good example is CEO Matty J if you're watching this shout out to you and I just thought you know what let me just give this a chance so I went online I too I drove my car to a nearby park I took pictures of it and I listed on Turo and believe me in less than two hours I got my first booking on the platform and that was the beginning of my Turo journey. So over the next couple of days, I got multiple bookings and my car would be gone for days and days on end. And I already knew that this worked because that exactly was the only proof of concept that I needed because my car was only home for like one time the entire week so it was not very convenient for me and I knew that you know if I wanted to take this seriously I you know just have to go all in and that's exactly what I did because as someone who always goes crazy about things when I find an opportunity I always like to take action immediately and that's exactly what I did so my car was on the platform for about a week I was getting bookings upon bookings and it was looking good I thought to myself well if I'm going to do this why not just you know go all in and I thought about adding a second cart of course it's always going to be hard for anyone who doesn't have cash or who doesn't have money laying around to go buy a new car but there is something I had that I knew I could take advantage of and that was my credit so this is what I did I called my friend who works at a car dealership shout out to you if you're watching this and I told him well what can you do for me can I get an economy car or maybe something you know on the cheaper side that I can add to my Turo fleet and when I have one of the cars booked I can always have one car laying around for me to drive around and he said well you know if you have great credit of course I know I have great credit at the time and we can always get you something so I filled out an application form online I got my credit credit ran and I walked to the dealership the next day and I got a brand new car for zero money down and a very interesting um, interest rate and that's how I got my second car on the platform now you can make an, an argument for how to add cars to your fleet how to get a second car but one thing is this if you don't have money laying around you can always leverage your credit and I got this brand new 2021 Kia Forte GT line for zero money down I mean absolutely zero dollars down so it was just like getting an extra car getting another car for free that I can always make money back on and my monthly payment on this car right now is less than $400 it's about $395 and I also have a monthly payment on my previous car that I had on the platform which was my original car the 2020 Volkswagen Jetta and the monthly cost on both cars come to about $850 and insurance on both cars come to $371 so all in all I'm looking at about $1,100 between both cars in car notes and insurance that's exactly how I got both cars on the platform right now and as I'm speaking to you right now one of the cars are gone and I only have this car today because I blocked out this weekend because I wanted to use my car for something else this weekend and that is the only reason why both cars have not been booked so so the question, how much can you make on the platform realistically? 
Well, as you all know, I've been on vacation for the last three weeks and before I went on vacation, I only had my cars on the platform for about two weeks. And within those two weeks, I made, as you can see on the screen right here, um, just under $800 and I had some trips canceled because I was gonna be on vacation. I didn't want to you know, have my cars out without me being physically present to take care of them. So I lowballed my cars. I put them at the lowest possible price anyone can get on the platform because I wanted to get rolling you know, real fast. I wanted to get as many trips as I can so I can attain the all-star host status. As an all-star host, of course, you get more perks. Your car shows up when people search for you. Your car shows up on the first page of the search and of course you get more bookings and you get more you know you get more money pretty much so that's exactly what i did i lowballed all my cars they went out super fast and i got my first few trips under my belt so this is how much i made on the screen right here as you can see i'm gonna put it on here somewhere and um it's not saying that you can make a whole bunch of money doing this but if you just have a car sitting down on your parking lot and you just want to make some money off of it maybe you're working from home right now and you just want to not come out of pocket for your car payments this is something you can try out and if you want to take this even more seriously you want to start you know having a fleet you want to have multiple cars on the platform you can definitely do that you can either buy cars with cash or you can finance them or you can lease them but in my case both of my cars are financed i already have one car that i drive personally and because i wanted to take this more seriously i went ahead and i financed a second car on the platform with a very great interest rate because i you know leveraged my credit for that so the question is this really passive is this passive income as you all know i talk about passive income a lot on this channel but is this really passive well Turo is not passive income. It is more like a side also. So if you have some time, if you have, you know, if, if you just have some time to put into the business, if you have free time, you may want to consider this. But if you don't have time at all, maybe you have a nine to five job, you go to work every day, you only have available weekends, this may not be something that you may be cut out to do. But if you want to say, just, you know, put your cars on the platform and be able to take care of it once, I mean, every once in a while, this might be something to consider but it is not in any way shape or form passive because when you know your guests return your cars you have still have to wipe it down you have to make sure your cars are clean when you're just getting started you want to be there when they're checking out when they are you know checking in sometimes you have the option of delivering the car to your guests so uh, you have to drive down to them you know within a certain distance of course you charge for that and not everyone you know chooses the delivery option but if you have to then you have to be physically present so just in one word, it is not passive, it is more of a side also. And if you want to get started, well, you can just go on the tour platform. I'm going to leave a link down below. You can sign up. And if you have a car that you just want to put on the platform, you can just get started today. You can try that. Um, this has been going well for me. I haven't had any problems yet in terms of, you know, insurance. And there's some other nuanced topics about Turo that I may talk about if you guys want to see them. Just leave a comment down below and I will be sure to talk about them. So I just want to come here and talk about what I've been up to, what I've been doing. If that interests you, let me know and I'll be sure to make more videos about Turo. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching this video. My name is Daniel and I will see you in the next one.